So what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to jump into the freehold system. This is one that's got me really intrigued. Like, I cannot wait to get involved in this. It's going to be pretty ridiculous. If you're a casual looking at their housing or looking at Ashley Creation, you want to know more about this. There's definitely something that you can do every single day within the game in this system. If you're a more hardcore PvP or a more hardcore PvE or all around this has something literally for everybody like it is stupid how much they plan on getting in if they put half of what they have in the three old system into the game it's going to blow other mmo's housing systems out of the water and as we develop and go into unreal engine 5 and as you know the dlc's drop and things expand over the years in ashes i i honestly I, it's like a mini simulation you're gonna see nodes civilizations but within then you're gonna have people having their own towns own fields their own like political control or or presence within that area regardless of the size of the guilds it's just giving people and players the power to kind of really get involved and take control of the world and i think it's going to be awesome so what i'll do now is i'll jump into what are the free old system and what is the information and what do you get out of using these or taking part in the free old system so free olds are sizable player housing plots that can be situated within the zone of influence of a node that is stage three or higher as long as they're not in close proximity to stuff like dungeons roadways spawn areas uh, other people's freehold plots hard terrain such as cliffs and mountains and the reason for that is obviously if you're doing a caravan run and someone slaps a freehold boom roads blocked you're kind of locked out if someone wants to hit up a dungeon farm some gear and you block that it's just going to be just a constant issue like jumping onto a totally different game for example if you're doing bosses on arc you need artifacts that are within a cave but if someone can build that it locks you out now on arc you can freely 24 7 wipe that stuff but it is an issue and in ashes if something like that was blocked i don't think it would be viable and it would just be annoying for everyone playing the game so what i'm going to do quickly is i'm just going to put a snippet in of steven quite a few years ago explaining what the free old system is and giving his perspective on that bear in mind this is pre-alpha footage and it isn't done in the new unreal engine so as you watch some of this footage always take that into consideration because when it does launch or hits us in alpha 2 or the full launch of the game it will look much better and truly will be next gen the whole system acts as a player housing that's on a plot and these plots can be laid laid out in the open world uh, when a node develops to stage three or above and at the stage three or above uh, level, nodes have a zone of influence that encompasses a large portion of the world. This is where players are, are doing activities and killing monsters and questing and all that. Everything that you would do in an MMORPG is being done and being collected by the node and advancing in stages. And that's done in this ZOI. <clears throat> you as a player can lay this plot down as a freehold and you can, can build up a house you can, um, you can build up farms, you can build up industry and windmills, and you can um, create uh, uh, your, your professions. Oh, I think there's a little, there's a little baby deer pet in there. I think there's a little so what he's saying there and kind of getting that is, this is kind of gonna be your own little mini town, a little house, little in little area of the world that you have full control over that you can have so much immersion within and it's really given players control of a part of the world no matter how big your guild is or small because yet again we hear about the zerg and, and how that's going to be the main thing but if you see what he's saying and how these systems work this isn't just for zergs you can get really small guilds maybe even solo players using these having loads of fun getting loads of stuff done and actually having a serious impact on the game and it's not like it's a linear path where they're saying you have to do this you have to do that you can choose what to do you can choose what you develop what you grow what you trade in and what you get involved in and to me that is how an mmo should be properly done you shouldn't be forced to do things you don't want to and with the free old system you really aren't and to stay on to the topic of you know how an mmo should be done you want a variety of things to do you obviously want your characters level and customization but with the free old free old buildings can be leveled up based on the length of time and the productivity and they unlock new bonuses abilities and capabilities so what that's saying is if your tavern's getting used and them games within the tavern are getting played people are winning currency or they're buying your crops or they're using your things like your family your guild are using your benches and you're you know actively using it as well and farming in the area and getting stuff done that will level up unlocking even more things for you to interact with or progress and customize within that freehold so moving on to 
what can be built on your freehold to kind of dip into that where you can have blacksmiths forges and freehold farms now if you build a freehold farm in a certain area say near a river it's going to benefit from that clean water source which will give your crops you're growing that you could be using for recipes brews or whatever or little buffs within the game or selling out your tavern it'll give them an increased boost to crop growth which is awesome and i want to see how that's going to affect everything else is there going to be ways it's going to affect smelter shrines and mills who knows but you're also going to have guild halls so once you reach a certain level your freehold reaches a certain level you'll be able to place a guild hall add into that then the stables and you're bringing in the animal husbandry system and that in itself that whole little artisan skill is ridiculous so then you bring in that immersion that gameplay the replayability the actual dynamics of that into the free old system and you truly do just adding even more game content more fun for you guild and family to have maybe lines if you can possibly sell them that you can breed and make some type of living off and then if you compare this to other mmos housing systems it truly is well above them or at least aiming to be above them and i'm sure we'll see that in alpha 2 a little bit of it and i don't think we'll really see the free old system flourish post launch maybe one year two year after then i think as things add in even more there really is it is got limitless possibilities it's pretty it's it's fucking awesome to be honest then moving on to buildings buildings will require the correct blueprints and materials to be built on a free old plot so all these different blueprints within the games and all these factors of that yeah I, I, i'm looking forward to the customization of that and how hard they're going to be to get how much benefits they're going to be get what's the trade value in them certain buildings will have multiple tiers with different sizes such as like so you can have a small house but then that might not be able to fit as much as you want in whether it's pve or actual uh, pvp stuff then the mansion size zone for example will take up 50% of a free old plot so you're gonna have to balance that do you really want 50% of your free old as a mansion you might be able to get a lot of things in there is that gonna limit your crop growth is it gonna limit how many tames or animal husbandry works how much you can get done there so it kind of is gonna be something you're gonna balance out but it shows that each free old each player's free old will be slightly different than the other if not vastly different and it will vastly affect the economy how these people use this and utilize it now talking about vastly different free old building styles is based on the blueprint for the building with cosmetics also being applied to a blueprint for that type of building so basically if you wanted you could have a dwarven style building or style buildings within your free old if you wanted you could have elven so that gives some real personalization to you and your free old and it makes you stand out and just kind of gives you that freedom to do what you want and really draw people in because that is not only just pve you're gonna think them aesthetics if you have something that is maybe lower to your benches and the other guy is higher but your free old looks so much better and drawing people in you're gonna get more custom you're gonna get more gold and in turn you're gonna make more progression so what are the benefits of owning a free old if the stuff i haven't just summed up there it still hasn't swayed you maybe some of this will so you're going to have the ability to place furniture and other items within your house depending on what size your house is certain structures may not allow it but that comes back to do you want a small house or a mansion size house you're going to be able to add storage containers so with your storage containers if you're grinding stuff out and farming obviously you can't keep it on your person all the time you want to get that inside and you'll have access to that and kind of it'll be more organized and maybe faster for you to get stuff done crafting benches to craft furniture and other items processing buildings meaning collected resources that you're getting out in the world can be brought back to your free old and say you want some downtime some pve you can just sit back and spend a few hours just grinding out and farming that in the space you own and just having a crack with your other guild members and just relaxing ability to sell consumables that are only purchasable from specific types of buildings social activities such as owning a tavern and having card games now i'm going to make a separate video on the taverns because honestly that is so complicated and so complex that it just doesn't do justice to describe some of the features that that has but i'll get that up next week for you so you can check that one out then not just that you're gonna have the ability to display like pvp or pve achievement trophies so when people are coming to your fields they can see what you've done maybe you'll get recruits that way maybe your guild will get recruits that maybe maybe you'll get recruited from another guild who come over and see that you've done all these and likely be a good asset to us 
and it's also just a more personalized thing again but that is really cool and i'm interested in that and i'll definitely be using a lot of the stuff here for myself i mean but it's all good having all of this stuff and being able to you know build up and get all these resources and loot together but if you don't have the security in for example say you get a dodgy member in coming from arc survival evolved you could grind out for years and have all this stuff but if you got the wrong member in literally your guild could be wiped in the middle of the night everything could go to shit that you've worked for so that was always frustrating for me and i could never understand why the devs didn't put in stricter measures or just something a bit better now with free old security that's where that kind of fixes that so a permission system will enable an owner to grant access to the following things They'll be given the ability to open doors and enter the home, access your crops, the ability to deposit or withdraw items from storage containers, and permission to use furniture or crafting stations. So you have to give that permission so no one can just come in and tech that shit. But bear in mind you want to be trusting the people you're giving the permission to. But I think it's also a super useful thing that if, for example, you need to get off but you've got a big raid planned or a big PvP at a siege and you're like, shit, I haven't got the time to get this stuff, but I do have like 60% of the ingredients, but I can't get home because I'm out. If you give that guy permission, he can then go access that, knock that stuff up, the game keeps continuing, the progression keeps going while you're offline, and then when you come back on, you can finish that off, and then tomorrow for your siege or your raid, you're organised, ready to go, and not only that, it just brings in more interactivity between players, and that's what an MMO should be doing. Your free old will be owned by you and it can only have one owner, but with the family system it allows access to that home to be shared and to me that's good. You really, you know, it's all good being there or someone being able to visit your house like a new year's and see some of the stuff, but being able to get in there and interact and really have it like shared and I think it's really going to bring guilds together. It might even tear them apart when someone texts someone or you get a dodgy member but that's on you and that's nothing to do with Intrepid. You'll have to deal with that yourself. So to round it up what I will say is on a more intense side of this when someone successfully commits a siege or you know has a siege on them if they lose that parent node loses for up to two hours players can pvp at your free old and not only that they can loot your stuff now i don't know what the extent of that is is it full loot can they take it all i suppose that would be viable it, it is a possibility because they're giving us enough time to know when these sieges are coming and giving us enough time to organize caravans or maybe spread resources out between guilds in other nodes or other areas but yeah we don't know how that's going to play out but i am looking forward to that and i do think it's a good aspect of the game because if you've put that much effort into your free old and you have that little town or at a bunch of free olds all working together i'm sure people will say you know what maybe we shouldn't back down let's fight and stand our ground or maybe let's just scatter but it also means that you will want a dda backup plan and i just think to end the free old system off that is just an awesome little thing there Hopefully you've enjoyed the video and if you've got any comments on the free old system or you think I've missed anything because I'm I know for a fact there's a lot I haven't dipped into here, drop it down below. Are you going to be using the free olds? Do you, is your guild kind of planning a set area they're going to try and take over or use for this for their personal reasons or the guild, you know, strategic reasons? Or is it something you don't really like the sound of and that you're going to boycott and maybe miss? And if you did enjoy the video, drop a like down below. If you've got any feedbacks on my editing or any of the other stuff I'm doing, I appreciate that as well because I think my content is definitely improving with even... Some people might see it as negative comments, but like as long as it's constructive criticism and people are jumping on, you know, to say this wasn't the best, improve here. I think that's awesome and it's only going to benefit the channel in the long run. But I do stand by what I say, the free old system will undermine other MMO player hours and systems, you know, past, present and future and give the MMO scene a kick up the arse of what I really believe we should be seeing with MMOs and housing systems now and with Unreal Engine 5 and what Intrepid has aspirations or you know what they're saying they're going to achieve or what they plan to achieve if they pull it off it really is going to be beneficial not just to Ashes creation but the MMO gaming scene in general they're just my opinions and my ideas and hopefully you know some of the feedback is are on the same page maybe there's some stuff i've missed or maybe there's some stuff that maybe i'm off the ball on but i do appreciate you watching and i'll catch you in the next one cheers